Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this GotchaFix 7-inch LCD digital microscope. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. Let's get this open. Here we have a CD with the software on it. Here's the manual. Let's take a quick look at it. Looks like there's 12 pages for English. So this talks about setting it up. So I'm going to go over this in the video. So this has a stand in the microscope at the screen, has auxiliary lights that plug in. This talks about the functions of the buttons. This talks about the microscope itself. So it has a micro SD card slot and it has a USB interface. This talks about how to use it. it has LED lights, it has a wired remote. So if you're taking a picture from a microscope, if you were to press a button, you could jostle it. So having a wired remote is nice. This talks about using the different modes, it has video mode, playback mode. Here's some specs. Video resolution is 1080p. Photo resolution is 16 megapixels. Those are max. Then it has lower also. Then you can plug this into your computer. And here are the full specs. You can pause and read through those. Then we have FAQs. Looks like that's it. So here's the microscope itself. We have the remote. So this looks like a base. Here's the riser. And this is the microscope base. So this is going to thread into here. Let me make some room. So this is threaded all the way up. We want to thread this on. So when we thread this all the way, it's pointed the wrong direction. So I have it tightened all the way down. I'll back it off a little bit and then I'll tighten up this nut on the bottom when it's in the correct orientation. So probably right about there. So this has foam feet on it. Here are the controls for the light. And it has these two LED lights. So in this little bag here, we have a gasket. Looks like a little calibration ruler. A USB-A to USB-C cable. It looks to be about 40 inches. And we have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So I'll put this card in here. So it looks like the label goes towards the front of the screen. Click that in. So this is going to mount in here. This has little thumb screws to tighten it down and there are little plastic tips on there. Now, if I fit this in, it's a little bit loose. So they have this gasket here and it has a little ledge on it. So that will seat here. Like so and I'll put the microscope down through that. So I'll line it up straight. And now I'll tighten these two thumb screws. Now you don't want to tighten these so tight you break something, but you do want it to be pretty sturdy. So that seems good there. So to adjust the height on here, we have this screw on the back. You loosen this up and then you move this up or down now you might want to give that a little bit of tension so you can move it up or down without it slipping. If we loosen it up, this could, if we wiggle it, slip down. So I'll pull that all the way up. I'll tighten that down. Now let's hook up some wires. So this is going to plug in the back here. And this is going to plug in the side. It says key. And this will plug into the USB. So this has a battery in it, but we'll probably want to charge it. So I'll plug that into my phone charger. And it does not come with a phone charger, but you can use your own. So it's currently charging at about one amp and the screen did turn on. Let me readjust here. So this screen can be angled. So this is the angle. It's not quite 
horizontal, which I wouldn't want it to be, but I'm just giving you a reference. That's plastic on the front. Let's peel that off. So I'm going to unplug this cable. We'll see how much charge it has. So it looks like it probably has a full charge, although that might adjust after a second. So I'm going to turn off my light here. Now you see kind of a flicker in the screen. I'm not seeing that in person. If I adjust my view, it goes away. So these lights on the side, there's a little knob in the back. We can turn that. And that will turn those up or down. So I can position those on the base. So we can see the battery dropped a little bit. So I'm going to let this charge up. So the nice thing about this being battery powered is that you could potentially take this to a park. Now this isn't outdoor rated, but you wouldn't want to be using this in the rain anyway. But you could use this on a picnic table or something. You could get some leaves or some insects and look at them. It's nice that you don't have to have it tethered. So let's go through the interface. So on the right here we have M. I'll press that. So this is going to give us settings. So we can change our resolution, burst shooting, image quality, sharpness, ISO, exposure compensation, and date tag. So let's hold that down now. And that switches us to video mode. So we were in picture mode. We'll hold it down again, and now we're in playback mode. So let's just go back to picture mode. And it may not look like much here, but it's not focused. So let's just start with this calibration thing. So I'll set this down. So now I'm going to lower the microscope. So I'll loosen that nut up on the back and I'll lower it. I'll just go right about, let's just do there. So I'm going to tighten that down. And now I'm going to rotate this to focus it. Now this is going to be very sensitive. Okay, so there we have it focused. Now if you can see how small that is here, it's quite large on the screen. So we can see the scale there. So that's uh, 0.03 millimeters. So let's look at something now. I have this microfiber cloth. I'll stick that under there. And I'll look at that. Now this is very reflective, so it can be very hard to look at. Now I can turn down this light on the side. Looks like that's probably my best solution. Maybe a little bit of light from the side. There we go. So if I want to take a picture, I'll just hit OK. It's taking a picture. Now let's look at some wood. This is some oak. So I want to raise it up to fit under here. And I'll turn the light back up. And I'm probably about 3 eighths of an inch from the board. I could have it lower. That's no problem. And here we can see the grain on the wood. Have some pencil marks over here. Let's see if we can get those in. So here you can see the graphite from the pencil marks. I can get even closer. I'm going to drop this down pretty much right on top of the wood. Lift it up just a little so I can move the wood. Now focus it. And now we can see this on top. Now let's say we want a video of this. I'll hold down M. We'll go to video mode and I'll hit OK. And I can drag this along and we can see video of it. I'll hit OK to stop that. Let's try and look at the end grain. So I'll loosen this up. 
And when you're turning this, it can help to just support the whole head with the other hand. I don't know if that's going to fit. Let me find a different piece of wood. I think this is red oak and this is white oak. So we'll take a look at that end grain there. I'm holding this at an angle. Now I could rotate this around or just have it freehand, but I can hold this pretty good. So here we can see the end grain of this white oak. And that's kind of sealed. And this is red oak here. And this has pores in it. So it's interesting to compare the two pieces of wood. The white oak is good for shipbuilding, the red oak is not. We can also look at the face of this. Let's switch to camera. So this does have a date stamp on it. I haven't changed that. If I was doing something serious, I'd probably do that. So this can be kind of fun to learn about things. You could also use it for, like say, inspecting a knife blade. So I'll lift this up. I'll get the knife blade under there. Let me get some light on it. I'll see if I can get it flat. There we go. So this is a standard utility knife blade. Let's see what the tip is like. Now, if I tilt this up or down, it's actually going to change the focus. That's how sensitive it is. And that you can actually focus it that way. If it's out of focus a little bit, you can move your object if you're holding it freehand like I am. Otherwise, you just use the knob. Let's look at the tip. So you can see the tip is not sharp on this. It has broken off. But we're getting a real nice image there. This can also be connected up to a computer. So let's test that. So I have my MacBook here. I'm going to unplug the power and I'll plug it into my computer with the USB. Okay, so now on the screen here, it says mass storage, PC camera or charging mode. So I'm going to go to PC camera, I'll hit okay. So this is going to present as a webcam to my computer. So I'm going to open up QuickTime on a PC, you could open up camera. You could also use OBS or other software. And I'll say new movie recording. And for camera, I'm going to choose general UVC. Now this does not have a microphone on it, but we can see it here on my computer. Let me find something new to look at. Here's a little pouch. So I will record this on my computer. And it's not showing up on my microscope anymore, but I can go here and we can see this. So I'm going to say full screen here. So it's blurry in the background, so we can adjust this to look at the different layers. So now we're focused on the background layers. So we're focused on the foreground layers, and then we can focus on the background layers. So I'm moving this maybe a millimeter or two, it's not very much. So I'll stop recording that. So if I go to Movie Inspector here, this recorded at 720p. So I'll unplug that, come over here. Now this turned on automatically earlier, but you can turn on by holding down the power button so it turns on. And then we can focus here. And then I haven't showed this yet, but this is the remote. So it looks like we hold it like this. So we can change the modes. I'll hold down on M. We can go to video mode. This is our playback mode. We're back to photo mode. If we want to take a photo, we can hit OK. And we're taking a photo. You can also press this button to take a photo. It looks like OK or the photo button. Then if we hit video, that's going to take us to video mode. Okay, so it looks like you can press this to start and stop your video also. So that's the Gotcha Fix 7-inch digital microscope. I really like microscopes. When I was growing up, we didn't have digital microscopes. You had to put your eye up to it, and they're very difficult to use. I think this is a much better option. I really like that the screen tilts. So if you're standing, you can see this easily, or if you're sitting, you can tilt it down. Also, if you have multiple people using it, everyone can see it. 
If you wanted to use this in a classroom setting, you could hook it up to a computer and even put it on a projector. I found this very easy to use. You just adjust the height with the knobs in the back, and then you focus here. A microscope like this would be great for looking at textiles, leaves, insects. I've used them when I've had a sliver in my finger, so I could see it. You could look at hair. There are countless things you can look at with something like this. And it can be a lot of fun, it can be educational, or you could even use it, like say if you're inspecting, sharpening or something, you can use it as a tool. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.